guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing a recipe for Guyanese curry fish. This is one of my absolute favorites and I am so happy to be sharing this recipe with you guys today. Now to get started here are the ingredients I will be using. Here I have some red snapper fish that I've washed and seasoned well. And here I have some potatoes, I have some mangoes, okra, I have some onions, garlic, tomatoes, I have green onions, I have some coconut milk, I have some thyme and two habanero peppers. I will be using some curry powder and some jeera and masala. This is fresh, I just made this myself. And I'll be using some green seasoning, saison seasoning, some seasoned salt, black pepper, and some complete seasoning. Let's get started. So I did went ahead and recorded how I seasoned my fish. And here I have some fresh red snapper that I washed in lemon juice and vinegar and a bit of salt. And here I have some seafood seasoning, black pepper, some Old Bay seasoning, and some fresh green seasoning. I also will be adding some curry powder. Now this green seasoning is fresh and it has everything in it. It has fresh herbs, garlic, ginger, onions, peppers, and stuff. I really don't need to use anything else once I'm using this, but I'm using the added seasonings for taste. So basically what we'll be doing is adding all of the seasonings to the fish. Then we will gently massage, making sure that the fish is evenly coated with the seasonings. You want to make sure that your fish is well seasoned. As a Guyanese, we don't like to eat seafood if it's not well seasoned. Our fish must be evenly coated with our green seasoning and that's the holy grail for all of our meats seafood poultry whatever we use our green seasoning and it takes our food to another level so we will you know gently massage this into the fish and then we will set it aside and allow it to marinate for about two to three hours Next, we will coat the fish with a thin layer of plain flour and then we'll fry them. Because we will be putting our fish in a curry sauce, we don't need to season the flour. The flour should be plain. So we will coat the fish and then we'll head over to the stove and we will fry our fish. So here I have my pan preheating. I will now go in with the fish and I will fry them until they become golden brown. Now we'll flip them and allow them to become brown on the other side. We will now remove them and continue the same process until they are all done. So here I have a bowl with some water. I will add my curry powder, my masala and jeera, and I will add the green seasoning. I will mix well, and then I will set it aside. So in my preheated wok with some oil, I will now go in with that curry paste. I will allow this to fry for about four to five minutes. Once the curry starts to look darker in color, that's when you know you've gotten rid of most of the rawness in the curry. And this is where we will add the garlic, onions, and the tomatoes. We will mix well and allow this to go for about three minutes. So at this point, we will go in with the potatoes and the mangoes. Then we will add our seasonings to flavor this up a bit. Then we will allow these to go for about five minutes 
um, we want that curry mixture to coat the potatoes really well and for the potatoes to absorb the curry flavor before we add anything else to this. Next, we will go in with our coconut milk. Then we will add some hot boiling water to this just to not mess with the temperature. You want it to stay at the, you know, the same temperature it's been cooking at. So hot water would be best. Then we will add our thyme and habanero peppers and we will cover and allow our potatoes and mangoes to become tender. So now we'll check to see if our potatoes are tender and it look like it's almost there. But this is the part where you also taste your food to make sure that it is to your liking. So I will go ahead and taste this and I will see if, you know, it needs anything more. And to me, I feel like it needs something more. So I will add some bouillon powder and that will give it, you know, an extra boost and then I will add my okra because I just need to steam them I don't need them you know to be mushy so I'll add them here and then I will let this go for about five more minutes so now we are almost done and what we'll do here is we will add our fish we will add the fish and then we will cover this and allow it to simmer for about five to ten minutes and last but not least we will now go in with our green onions and cilantro. And there you have it, guys. This is the ultimate Guyanese curry fish. It is so mouth-watering. I bet you will not regret trying this recipe. So this is my version of a delicious Guyanese curry fish. I'm having mine with some white rice. It can also be eaten with roti, dumplings, or whatever you like. I do hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I will leave all the ingredients down in my description box, and I will see you guys in my next video. Enjoy!